On today's video, we're out at the deer camp doing a little fishing. Hey there outdoor YouTubers, it's Dave Knetter from Knetter's Practical Outdoors. And we're out at the deer camp, you know we've been out here a couple nights. Uh, I'm out here with my son Peter, my son Nick. Uh, my dad joined us for one of the days out here and we've been doing some fishing and thought maybe uh, I'd share some of that with you guys and, and some of the uh, some of the camp life that we enjoyed the past few days and uh, you know my son Peter is a youtuber too and for a couple years now I've been trying to see if he'd want to do a collaboration video right um, that's you know that's when uh, two youtubers get together do a video and they each post a version of that video on their channel and uh, the good thing about that is a lot of times you'll get crossover in the subscribers you know so I, I was hoping maybe Peter would uh, would have filmed these last couple days to put a put a video on his channel he doesn't seem too interested in that he hasn't been too interested in that for a couple years now well we did get a few tonight you know had a good time and still kind of holding out hope that uh, Peter will put this video on his channel up some of those subscribers, maybe 70, 80,000 of them. So yeah, I was talking to Peter and uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure I got him convinced uh, that he'll let me put this video on his channel, you know? So, you know, I'll probably pick up an extra 100,000 subscribers doing that, you know? And, and he'll get the 5,000, you know? So, so it's a win-win. Um, but the, the idea, of course, is, is to, to get some crossover with those subscribers. Like, like Pete, what, what are you up to now? 180, 180,000 subscribers? Yeah, about. About 100, you know. So, you know, if he was to post a video, if he was to post, say, this video on his channel, you know, maybe I'd get some crossover, maybe I'd pick up 180,000 subscribers, you know. And then, you know, the video that I'll post on my channel, you know, with him in it, you know, maybe he'll pick up uh, my 8,000 subscribers, right? So it's kind of a win-win. But, um, yeah, over the years, Peter hasn't been real keen on the idea. His his channel is more about gaming and that sort of thing. He's probably got a slightly different audience than I do. But, uh, yeah, you're probably still not interested in doing that, hey? No, I think it's about the same. It's just, just kind of the same deal, hey? Yeah. Uh, just, yeah, not a whole lot of change. It's, it's, not, it's not really uh, up your uh, subscriber's alley, hey, the, the outdoor stuff, you don't think? No, I don't think there's as much of an audience crossover between gaming and outdoors, at least not enough to make it worthwhile, no. Yeah, not even with some of those outdoor games like uh, Rapala Fishing and, you know, I, I know there's like games you can like catch bass on them, video games and stuff. Yeah, yeah they're yeah. not very popular. And they but what about Duck Hunt? Duck Hunt was popular. Was. Yeah, it was. Okay. Yeah, that was kind of more from my era, I guess. But, uh, okay. All right. Good enough. Well, I tell you what, guys. I, I thought we would share uh, some of the video with you guys, uh, even if it's just going to be on my channel. Alright guys, we're 
We're out here in the sauna, we're going to light the fire, uh, get the water all nice and hot so we can wash up tonight. And we're going to start off with some newspapers here. Okay, good way to do it, you open it up. And uh, my Uncle Roman always said, you twist them, right? You twist them lengthwise to simulate candling. And uh, if you guys, uh, any of you guys out there have ever heard that before, uh, leave a comment and, and let me know where you heard it, okay? I'd be interested to see how many people recognize uh, Uncle Roman and uh, his candling. But anyways, so we'll get some newspapers in there. Okay, next, some small kindling. All right, a little bit bigger kindling. Two pieces of firewood on the smaller side. And with this particular stove, this water jacket comes over and it's kind of on this side of the stove. So we tried to build the fire uh, over on this side that heats the water up a little quicker. And then when it gets to that point, you can just kind of put a match to it. And I think a lot of you guys know this water pipe goes in to the wood stove and then back out. And that really, uh, that's what heats the water up. And of course, nice hot water, great for washing up. That damper open all the way. This damper opened up all the way. That's where we want it to get started. Okay. Well, we'll come back and check on it in uh, 10 or 15 minutes, see how it's doing. Well, it's time to add a few bigger pieces. Uh, I think you can hear the fire's going pretty good already. Love these swim baits. Always a little bit of work to do at the camp. The grass gets pretty long when it's unattended. Even though it's June, it still gets pretty cold at night sometimes here in the UP. Uh, we actually had to light the wood stove. Well, there you have it guys. Uh, that was a couple days out at the deer camp. Uh, eating some good food, catching a few fish, uh, had a good time. So anyways, um, just remember to hunt, fish, laugh, repeat. This is Dave Knetter, 
from Canaris Practical Outdoors, my two sons, Pete and Nick. And uh, hey, thanks for watching and God bless.